Hello everyone and welcome back to the Sedona International Film Festival. I'm your host Carol Kahn. We are coming to you live from the Sedona Performing Arts Center and on Facebook Live. And joining me now is June, an actress with Voodoo Macbeth. Hi, Hello. thanks for having me. Oh my God. <laughs> so first of all, we, we met last night, yes. right? And um, the buzz mm -hmm. for this particular film, like when I walked into the party, everybody's like, did you see that movie? Oh wow, <laughs> that's awesome. And you were just telling me that um, every time you watch the film, as mm -hmm. many times as you, you've watched it, mm -hmm. there's all nuances that yes. you find. So tell me about that. Yeah, especially in the set design. I mean, our set, our production designer was unbelievable. And like little tiny details. I'm like, oh my gosh. I didn't even see that the day we were filming or the first three times I saw the movie. But like that little note in the corner of her dressing room, it like totally makes it. Uh, and performances too. It's like... Every time you watch it, I feel like I see the nuances in Jules' performance or, or Inger's. I'm like, look at that moment she just took. She's brilliant. <laughs> I swear, I learn. It's like a master class for me. I learn, I learn something every time I watch it. That's awesome. So how did you prepare for the role? Yeah, you know, for me, I really thought about what is it like for two young, creative, ambitious people to be in a marriage. They were young. They were 19 when they got married, Orson and Virginia. Uh, what is it like for two young, creative, ambitious people to, um, to, to be in partnership with each other when there is an outside force as big as a production of Voodoo Macbeth? Uh, what, does that, what does that do to a relationship? And, and it wasn't that hard for me to really think about because I am a young, creative, ambitious person dating people and, and trying to figure out what does it look like to build a life as well as a career. So I really... I just like put myself emotionally in that position. Of course, I looked at a thousand pictures of 1936 New York. I became pretty obsessed with Katherine Hepburn <laughs> and like <laughs> other, you know, starlets of the time. And and uh, of course, you know, read Macbeth and learned a lot about Orson Welles. There's not as much about Virginia Nicholson, but there's obviously so much about Orson. So it was a really fun project. My first time ever doing any historical fiction. So that was like really special kind of melding what you learn, like the history with your creative content, and then like where those two meet, the imaginary and the history, I think it's like so delicious. Was there anything like throughout your research that you actually added to the making of the film? Or did you just kind of follow the oh my directions? Gosh, that's such a nice question. <laughs> yeah, you know, there was one quote that I read that was about Virginia and Orson, and it was something like, Virginia won him over with the outrageous with Virginia won him over with the outrageous stories that she told him when they were in private. And I was like, "What?" <laughs> and I I read that and I was like, "Okay, this girl's got spunk." <laughs> you know, she like we think of Orson as being the storyteller and this like outrageous personality, but in the privacy of their home, I was like, "I wonder if she was really the one that was entertaining him and and keeping things so exciting and alive. And, and so I tried to bring that into the character and, and really give her that oomph uh, of, of who she really was, I think, instead of making her, you know, his, his sidekick, mm -hmm. really making her a force to be reckoned with. Is there anything that you would do different in the film? Or? <laughs> <laughs> of course. It's hard to watch your performance, you know, because it's, it's a living art. And if I, if I shot those scenes today, of course they would be different. Like, even from take to take, of course, there's continuity, these things uh, you have to get consistent, but it's always gonna change because it's a living, living performance. So yeah, I watch it and I'm like, oh my gosh, why did I look there at that moment? Or, or oh, I think, I actually think her intention in this line would be a little bit different. Um, I don't have anything so specific. Uh, that's a great question though. But it definitely is, tr is tricky to watch yourself uh, at, a, at a frozen moment in time. Because that was, you know, several years ago as well, and I, we're always growing and changing, so right, right. I'm a, I'm a different person now than, than I was when I filmed that. I think we're different people than we were yesterday. I know, right? Oh my gosh, since this morning. <laughs> You're changing very quickly. Right. Well, that's what two cups of coffee will do to you. Yeah. <laughs> I had four shots of espresso. Yes! So, so I'm right there with my you. My kind of girl. <laughs> Um, is there any uh, films that you're working on now coming up? You know, I'm I'm in that audition hustle right now. I do have some stuff that is 
you know, down the line. I'm not at liberty to say anything, unfortunately. Oh, not even a little secret. Oh, <laughs> no, I, I just can't. It's like I would, I would hate to, you know, get in sure. trouble or, or yeah, no, we, we don't want that. Yeah, I know. Everyone here gets it. Um, but you know, you know how fast things move in this business. So be on the lookout. I'm really, I have my fingers crossed about a few projects, uh, but yeah. Well, you are very spunky. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love your voice. Thank you. <laughs> Even though you got in trouble in school, it doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> they always knew it was me talking. How, I'm like, how did you hear my voice over everyone else's? It, it just echoes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's a good thing. It is a very for good acting. thing. It is. And I love the fact that you brought your father with you to yeah. the film festival. It's so cute. And happy Father's Day to you tomorrow. Thank so, you so much. it's great having you here and meeting you both. And He's the best. <laughs> <laughs> it's been amazing having him here. Yeah. Aw, that's <laughs> awesome. True love. And I know you're going to pick out her wardrobe for tonight. Yes. Correct? <laughs> what are you wearing, Dad? It's really a more just a final approval. It's okay. Like, I don't really think she's going to. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He's good at shoes. Okay. Oh. That's Yesterday he was oh, like, yeah. I think, I think he. He did. Okay. And he was right. You so, were right. According to June's dad, just in case, um, he selects the shoes. He's very good at that. Yes. <laughs> now you know. Well, I can't wait to see your ensemble, and I'm going to ask you who you're wearing. So. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. I can't wait to see shoes. yours. <laughs> I think I have to go shopping. Now I'm, now I'm worried. Ooh, where should I go shopping here? <laughs> That's, yeah, good point. <laughs> I mean, there's some good stores here. I yeah. wanted to go to the Indian jewelry store. I mean, I see you've got some beautiful turquoise on. Uh, well, yeah, I make my jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's cool. <laughs> well, we'll talk. Yeah. We'll talk. All I'd right. <laughs> I'm like, what? So I'm, I'm going to see you tonight, Yes, right? you tonight. Okay, the and then do you want to promo the film? How can people find out about the film? Yes, um, Voodoo Macbeth. I think you can still get virtual tickets for Sedona, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you get a virtual ticket, you have three days to watch it. Um, also, we're in a couple other festivals coming up. I think Jason is the one really to ask about that. And then distribution, we'll see what happens. We've got our fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, voodoomacbethfilm.com is really where... We're gonna put every update and stay tuned. Stay tuned, it's an amazing film. Thank you. And uh, I'm gonna be watching you because okay. I know we're gonna expect big things oh. from this lady, so. Thank you, that really means a lot, thank you. Yeah, so I can't wait to see more. <laughs> thank you. And we'll be back with more from the Sedona International Film Festival after this.